Hey Libra, spiritual empress, Megan, Lynn in the house, what's up? I've only said that like 10 million times. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of like flustered that I have no idea why. But I wanted to do, as per request, a Libra July 2019 tarot reading because somebody who's a Libra, holla at my Libras on the channel. This is predominantly an Aquarius channel. So if you are another sign and you would like readings or clarifications or things like that, y'all gotta speak up. <laughs> so thank you, thank you to, I can't, I would do a shout out, but I can't remember who it was. He said, can you please do Libra uh, for July? Yes, I will. I got you, boo. Um, also, Hopefully it resonates with you. I just kind of do a general, so here you go. So per request, we're going to do Libra, July 2019. Libra's had a lot of really interesting, like, relationshipy energy. I don't know if it's like they have a lot of secret admirers or things like that. It seems like a lot of it's more around the romance kind of thing. So we'll see what comes out for Libra for July 2019. Thank you for all the comments, likes shares subscribes everything i really really appreciate it guys but all right let's get into it let's do libra don't know why i'm cutting the cards like this but libra libra i don't have a lot of libra friends but y'all are air signs your air fam oh you got the empress this is my favorite freaking card you guys <laughs> you have the empress the king of pentacles the Queen of Swords. You guys have a whole freaking suit here. The Sun. The World in Reverse. The Seven of Swords. The High Priestess. The Queen of Wands in Reverse. You guys have a lot of freaking royalty here. Temperance card. And the Ten of Swords. As you're clarifying, energy is Ten of Swords in Reverse. That's okay. Um... The Empress, hello. This is very strange because I definitely get some sort of vibe that this is two people here. Or it could be also another person that's just around your guys' energy. Um, you guys are the Empress. So this is a prize to be won, darling. <laughs> so this is Libra's overall energy right now, I feel, is the Empress. Uh, the Empress pretty much has her shit together. She does not have to worry about... That's the thing with Libras. Libras can be very analytical just like as all air signs can but a libra can when it comes to romance can be really confusing this empress knows what she wants she knows what she's worth she knows you know what the characteristics of a proper suitor are so this empress here is very nurturing as well it looks like too you have some other people in her energy who have kind of seen that value too um, it could be a, so I'll put the Empress here because you guys are definitely an Empress right now. Um, you guys also may have, may work with children. I, I don't know why I'm saying that. You guys may work with children. Uh, but you guys may, um, like I said, the Empress is very, like, nurturing. She's very fruitful. Um, she's very abundant. So you guys, um, probably have your shit together right now. It's kind of like when you are, you know, you're on your grind, you're on your hustle, and it's very hard for anybody to even approach you. It looks like you may have somebody, as far as the finances go, it looks like you guys are okay. It looks like you're handling the finances pretty well, or either that or you're taking care of it. Um, it looks like you guys are fine as far as the finances go, but it looks like there's either this other energy around you that's either helping you, um, because you have the king of pentacles here. So it could be another person, uh, with an empress or a queen, you always need a king. You can't have a page or a knight's or the fool. <laughs> we don't play with fools, right, Libra? So um, it looks like you guys have somebody around your energy. You could be talking to an earth sign. Um, so like Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, uh, you could be talking to an earth sign right now. It looks like somebody else has seen your value. Um, but it also looks like as far as it's going, maybe if it is a love relationship or a work partnership, this is somebody who is a very supportive figure. So it could be Usually I say somebody older when it comes to like earth signs and things like that. Could be somebody older who's a little bit more established with their career, things like that. They could be a boss, uh, things like that. So it looks like this person is definitely on your peripheral. So this is somebody who is maybe post-interest or you guys have been taking glances at each other, something like that. It looks like a possible earth sign here, but this is somebody who has... Um, they are all that in a bag of chips, um, as are you, but it looks like the person that you've either met or is surrounding you is put together. Um, 
or aspires to be but the king of pentacles is super super i i personally always love a king of pentacles around me <laughs> i know shit's taken care of i can go to outer space and come back king of pentacles is still there uh he's got my back so that's a good, very supportive card here um it looks like though i don't know if this is another person so not technically like a third party uh but this is also like so you have the queen of swords energy here so this could be either another air sign or a fire sign um for some reason i like air sign for this one here um this is the queen of swords so the queen of swords doesn't take shit from anybody um with that now you have a very supportive factor when it comes to this other pentacles person or pentacles energy around you with finances However, um, it's allowing you to be very critical with who you select um, or opportunities that you select um, because you have that success here. So if you decide to go with this person, it looks like only good things here. Also be careful because what I find with Libras is it can actually be very judgmental, you know, no hate there. They can be judgmental. They can be very critical of others. Um, and it's actually, it's really, really funny because all the Libras I've ever met have been very, um, you know, quote unquote, open minded, but very judgmental when it comes to others decisions and not so much with their own. So just be careful with the Queen of Swords energy. It is very supportive, though. The Queen of Swords gets shit done. You could be acting that way with this person, though. Um, and it looks like because it looks like maybe you guys have been this kind of way or this kind of person has been this way with you um has been kind of like you know when you're just like a little extra um and i love the queen of swords energy like i said she doesn't take shit but it can be a little extra just because the queen of swords has been through so much she's taking care of herself she doesn't need nobody the queen of swords also can be very cutting in nature so it looks like either you or the other person could have been that way towards each other um, so be careful with that because it looks like with this person or with this situation, so it could be work as well. It could be a work partnership. It could be a work scenario. There is happiness there. So you have the sun. That's the happiest card in the deck. It looks like this would actually be very, very supportive of happiness. Um, something very, um, something bountiful, something that's long lasting, long term, long term happiness is with the sun. So you could also be dealing, dealing with a Leo. I only say that because major arcana card. Could be dealing with a Leo as well. You saw this person as being, uh, this person is a solution, not a solution in a way. It's more, this is, this is like ultimate happiness. So this could again be even another person. It looks like you guys may have like many people you're just starting to deal with here. I can't tell if it's more the swords or the sun. Um, so it looks like, it almost looks like somebody had some, either they, they passed some cutting words or something kind of went down um you either recognize that this could be good they recognize that this could be good or this is another person that's also involved as well um and it looks like something something happened because this is the world in reverse so with the world in reverse here this is something that somebody saw as being like i said something very long term something lasting something secure and stable um you know something that could go to the distance as far as whatever, if it was work or it, a love relationship, something like that, it looks like with this in reverse, uh, somebody saw this situation as, in essence, their world. Um, that is in the reverse. So something happened there to where this is not manifested yet or because of either some sort of cutting nature here or there's just too much um, bravado something happened and uh there's kind of like a bit of a loss there so either you're not getting what you want or they feel like they're not or um maybe you guys really want to manifest something here and because of this kind of i mean these are big personalities here because of that there's a little bit of a clash and that this kind of happened and you can see here you do have the seven of swords seven of swords is just being exhausted so like i said if this was um words were exchanged uh not niceties happened this is the seven of swords here uh that cat is super super freaking exhausted uh this cat is tired of watching its back and not only tired it can't do it anymore it's just um it's kind of like when you're in a relationship or you're at work and you just always have to explain yourself instead of somebody just trusting you maybe um you always have to explain yourself you always have to you know have reasons for doing certain things or somebody can't just take your word for it on things that's kind of this 
and because of that it's draining so it has been very draining so either you or somebody else drained you um, and this is simply just being tired of um, defending yourself um, just being kind of worn out so and it looks like here um, the high priestess this is a, has to do a lot with experience uh, so there should be some inner knowing about, there should be some like clarity about it. This is a very psychic card. The Priestess is one of my favorite, favorite cards. It's very psychic. Um, she has kind of just a knowingness of certain scenarios, kind of how they play out. You can kind of see the train, you know, coming to a collision a mile away and you just can kind of watch it unfold because you know it's going to happen because you're the Priestess. Um, it kind of looks like Either you knew this would happen or somebody else did, um, but there's also an inner know knowing about some sort of connection here. Um, and it has a lot to do with experience. When you have a lot of experience with relationships or with um, work scenarios that are very similar, you can already kind of read how they're gonna go down. And it looks like that uh, even having that inner knowing here, or maybe they do, it looks like there may be a lack of communication here. Um, so Queen of Wands in reverse is not effectively communicating, so whether this is you or them, because of whatever this little like falling out here is, you, you may still, it's kind of like w when you still know something, but like nobody's making the move to do it. That's kind of this little combo here. It's just like, I know I was wrong, or you know, I know that this is really supposed to, could really be something fruitful, but you know, I'm still not going to communicate or when I do communicate, even though I go in with the intention of wanting it to be very cordial or things like that, it gets very immature and things like that. So that's kind of what it looks like is going on here. Um, but you guys know whether that's both of you or, um, or all three of you, there's like a lot, either a lot of like a couple people or something because this is a lot of energy. And then this, uh, so you guys have the, your overall clarifying energy is temperance. Uh, yeah, you'll kind of hate me for this one. This is very, uh, this is a very gracious energy. This is a very, um, it's patience. It's honestly, it's patience. Also, it's taking care in how you say things, how you communicate things, being patient. And also sometimes it has to do with taking time. So if, you know, and I know Libras, like usually Libras typically don't like to argue or don't like things uh, to last or kind of drag on. I can say if you guys are dealing with either like a Leo or, you know, some fire sign or like an earth sign, earth signs will tend to drag things on. Um, they kind of can harbor things sometimes depending on, you know, how high the earth influences. But it looks like you guys um, just need to be patient here. Understand that uh, things don't get fixed overnight. Uh, also, if you do go to communicate, don't expect to fix things right the second or you want it better right the second. Um, it looks like it's going to work out. Um, but as far as the moving forward card, do you have the Ten of Swords in reverse? Um, just, yeah, this has to do a lot with uh, releasing conflict. It looks like also, too, this could be hanging on to things. So if somebody is hanging on to words that were said freaking forever ago, or um, something that happened in the past and they're just kind of hanging on to it and not kind of letting that cycle end and starting something new. Libras typically are pretty good about that. They're pretty good about, some of them are, <laughs> pretty good about, uh, you know, let's just move forward from this. You know, we can be better moving forward. Uh, other signs aren't always like that. I can say fire signs aren't like that. They typically will hang on to things forever if they have high fire influence. Also, earth signs can kind of be stubborn about stuff like that. So um, this has to do with uh, you letting go and somebody else letting go. And that the fact that this hasn't been moving forward is because of this. Sometimes that just takes time and waiting. So if you guys aren't interested in love, because I can say looks like love there's a lot of little powerhouses in here i really like it yeah so in love uh this is kind of um gathering things kind of starting to get ideas together for how to either start over or build a new foundation you have the three of pentacles here so um it looks like uh moving forward i mean this is kind of either what you would need or they would need is to try to kind of it's kind of like when you say hey let's wipe the slate clean and start new that's kind of what this is here that's kind of getting ideas together um you know what you can do kind of moving forward to set a, a good um, foundation for next time so very very good libra feel very good for you guys 
Um, and again, this kind of bullshit, like that's, a, that's all it kind of is. <laughs> um, and honestly, a lot of, uh, you know, trouble we get ourselves into doesn't really have to be um, trouble at all. We just kind of make it that way. So if you can get out of your head a little bit, that should help. Uh, so Libra, July 2019, that's kind of what I got for you. If you would like to speak up, I'm so sorry that I forgot whatever your name was. It was a chica. I forgot. Uh, if you would like any clarification on that, please just drop comments, likes, comment, share it. I hope it resonated with you. This is just a general reading. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you for all the comments, likes, shares, subscribes, guys. If you are some other sign other than Aquarius and you would like to call me out and you would like a reading, feel free, just drop a comment. I am more than happy to do those, but like I said, this channel is by request only, uh, pretty much for Aquarians. <laughs> So, uh, but you guys also create it too. So, uh, thank you. Thank you so much guys. And we'll talk soon.